if you've got leadership responsibilities for a trade association, regional growth association, or local chamber of commerce, and you're looking for new and better ways to overcome the challenges related to new member acquisition, membership retention, and non-dues revenue generation, then you're in the right place, especially if you felt held back by your limited time, staff, size, or any of your budgets. The good news is that I'm going to share the secret of how you can do all of that without adding staff, working longer hours, or spending additional money you can't afford to waste. I'll even give you access to the digital version of my book, Offer Versus Ask, the nonprofit executive's secret playbook for growth and sustainability for free. Visit the nonprofit and association partners page at workforcealchemy.com and download your own copy instantly for free. My son Clayton, co author of the book Offer Versus Ask, the nonprofit executive's secret playbook for growth and sustainability, experienced his first fundraiser as a class project in his entrepreneurship program at Wichita State University. Beyond the grade, he was trying to raise money for the nonprofit association supporting his college track and field program. He had no fundraising experience or free time because of class, track practice, travel for the team, and he had an internship. He had no website, no database of previous donors, no marketing materials, no budget or support staff. To make matters worse, he's an introvert. I asked him how it was going, and his response, terrible. He hated asking people for money. The nerves, the pit in his stomach, and the lump in his throat, you know the drill. He was like, Dad, donor access is tough. And even if I do get in front of them, they roll their eyes and aren't happy to see me because they're obviously tired of getting hit up for money. And even if I can get in front of a donor and they don't roll their eyes, a lot of them donate to other causes that they feel are more important than the one that I'm raising money for. He learned his lessons the hard way outside of the classroom, that donor access was a big challenge, donor fatigue was real, and there were lots of good causes out there competing for donations. It was then I told him of a quote from Tim Ferriss, the author of the book, Four Hour Workweek, where he said, if what you're doing isn't working, do the opposite. And if you think about it, it makes sense because the opposite of something that isn't working is something that might work. So I said, what are you doing? And his reply, I'm asking business owners for money. So I asked him, what's the opposite of an ask? It was then he looked at me and said, an offer, dad. So Clayton and I put our heads together with the goal of creating an irresistible value proposition that he could attach to his fundraising efforts. We did it, refined it, and are now making it available to help other worthwhile organizations and great causes. To add some background to the story, for over 30 years, I've consulted with countless businesses, including major employers such as Miller Brewing, Purina Mills, and Bunzel Distribution. My ideas have been featured in Selling Power, Entrepreneur Magazine, and the New York Times. I've written numerous books, several of which were number one bestsellers on Amazon.com, and my expertise is employee selection, engagement, and retention. I was in a unique position, having recently acquired the ownership of the hiring suite skill, attitude, and personality-based assessment system from a well-respected industrial psychologist named Neil Johnston. And I had also converted what used to be live training into video-based training modules supplemented by a certification testing system employers used to make sure that their leaders had the tools and training they needed to solve and prevent common problems related to their people. So we packaged everything together and created the Workforce Alchemy Challenge, which you can find out about at WorkforceAlchemy.com. I decided that I would grant any donor who contributed a minimum of $100 to his cause full access to the training, testing, and up to $1,000 worth of tools needed to get the right people on the bus and into the right seats, as Jim Collins, who wrote the book Good to Great, would say. I love that book. And I think Collins was right then and still is. The ability to get the right people on the bus and into the right seats, the bus being their business, of course, is one of the most important things any business can hope to accomplish. Unfortunately, Collins' book didn't say how or describe the tools businesses needed to do it either. The Workforce Alchemy Challenge fills in those holes for the people who apply, get accepted, and meet the challenge. Since then, we have refined the offer and invited other nonprofits and associations to make the same offer available to their donors. We've also invited chambers of commerce and trade associations to join our alliance and make the same offer available to their members. Once the nonprofits, chambers of commerce, and trade associations have applied and been welcomed into our alliance, good things happen. Nonprofits may then share our irresistible value proposition with their donors to maximize participation rates in their initial fundraising campaigns and share in future revenues generated by the challenge. Chambers of Commerce and Trade Associations may share our irresistible value proposition with their members 
to help them get more new members, keep existing members longer, and also generate non-dues revenue. When we form a strategic alliance with chambers of commerce and trade associations, here's what we do for their members and their organizations. To begin with, their members receive automatic acceptance in the Workforce Alchemy Challenge. Here's why that's valuable. Alchemy was the medieval forerunner of chemistry. Based on the supposed transformation of matter, it was concerned with attempts to convert base metals, like lead, into gold. Workforce alchemy is kind of like that, except with people and businesses. It's all about making both people and their businesses more valuable. Some businesses are good at employee selection, some are good at engagement, and others are good at retention, but almost none of them are good at all of those things. First, Members receive online access to my video training modules featuring the tools of the Hiring Suite assessment system, as well as best practices and strategies that are tied to employee selection, engagement, and retention that I've refined over the last 30 years working with hundreds of major employers and corporations such as Miller Brewing, Torino Mills, Bunzel Distribution, and others. These ideas, strategies, and tools can also help small and medium-sized business owners save years of hard work and save perhaps tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars by solving and preventing unnecessary people problems before they occur. Second, members also receive access to Workforce Alchemy certification testing. And individuals who pass the Workforce Alchemy certification test with a score of 80% or better will earn a Workforce Alchemy certificate and $250 worth of hiring suite assessments featured in the video training modules that they can use to make better personnel, management, and leader decisions, leadership decisions faster. It's about making their people and their businesses better as soon as possible. An unlimited number of managers, executives, and owners and member companies may access the training videos, take the certification test, and earn their certificates. However, there is a limit of four people per company who may earn $250 worth of assessments. So for our Alliance members, that means we will provide up to $1,000 worth of skill, attitude, and personality-based assessment tools featured in the Hiring Suite assessment system for every single one of their qualifying members. Third, qualified members get a 20% discount off standard pricing on any of their future orders and reorders of the Hiring Suite assessment tools. And last but not least, members get free account setup technical support that's related to the hiring suite assessments and the online administrative site used to score them. What does the Chamber of Commerce or Trade Association receive? Well, first, the organizations we strategically align with will get the authorization to guarantee acceptance in the Workforce Alchemy Challenge to members who identify an affiliation with their organization. That means their members get access to the video training modules, certification testing, and up to a maximum of $1,000 worth of assessment tools for their businesses. Second, our affiliated organizations will receive 20% of the additional revenue received from members, minus taxes, who order and reorder assessment tools provided under this program for a minimum of two years following the member's initial paid purchase of assessment tools. For chambers of commerce and trade associations who cover the costs associated with our membership and their organizations, we're glad to return their goodwill gesture by extending the revenue sharing indefinitely. And third, our affiliated organizations get the rights to publish, print, and promote done-for-you email content, social media posts, and other password-protected promotional materials provided by our company at WorkforceAlchemy.com. When chambers of commerce and trade associations realize that we are offering to provide hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of resources to each organization accepted in our alliance, the number one question is this, what's in it for you? People really wanna know how we make money by giving so much away. Well, here are the secrets. Every business, including ours, wants to attract more of their ideal clients. And there are lots of ways to do that. But instead of investing all of our marketing resources and advertising, trying to convince potential clients that we could help them, Instead, we wanted a way to show results and actually help business owners first by giving them tangible, measurable improvements that they wouldn't have gotten otherwise. We also wanted to take away any and all financial risks associated with using our services. And last but not least, we wanted to reallocate and redirect investments that we would have otherwise made in online advertising to go to worthwhile organizations and businesses who joined them instead. Given the choice between giving more money to Facebook, Google, and such, we'd rather give it to organizations like yours and the member companies who support you. So we envisioned and created a new strategy to partner with organizations who already have or could easily get access to the people who run businesses and appreciate the value of the work that we do. 
before I bought the hiring suite assessment system, which is featured in the Workforce Alchemy training modules from Neil Johnston, the industrial psychologist who developed it all, our business model was dictated to us by his company, and it was very different. The business model that he created was to license uh, management consultants like me all over the country who paid his company royalties to utilize and sell his skill, attitude, and personality-based behavioral assessments to end users as part of our consulting work. The assessments were administered and scored instantly using a password-protected portal online by the clients who knew how to use them. Clients were charged for each report generated by the system. It's how we made money then, and it's how we still make money. Training was usually done live on site, so it was expensive, time consuming, and labor intensive for myself and other consultants. It wasn't efficient or scalable. The focus was on large companies simply because they used a lot more assessments than everyone else and generated a lot more revenue than their small and medium sized counterparts. We didn't feel it was right or fair. And while small and medium sized companies may not generate as much revenue per year on a per client basis as the big ones, there were a lot more of them. We realized that when we added up the total revenue potential of all the small and medium sized businesses combined. And we found out that it was much greater than the big company niche alone. We just had to figure out a way to share our work with smaller business owners and let them experience significant and measurable improvements. Plus, we had to figure out a way to do that without spending more to get a new account than we got from having them as a new client. And there's an old saying that necessity is the mother of invention. So we rethought our go-to-market strategy and we pivoted. Here's how. As soon as the ink was dry in the agreement to acquire the hiring suite assessment system, one of the first things we did was standardize 30 years of best practices and frontline experience to ensure the consistency and quality control of the training by putting it onto the web in video-based training modules. And we accompanied it with the certification testing process to ensure that actual client learning took place because training, certification, and even the administration and scoring of the assessment tools are now done online and delivered digitally, everything is now scalable and much more efficient. We can serve infinitely more clients in more markets than ever before. Everybody, regardless of company size, now has access to the exact same strategies and tools, so the playing field no longer favors the largest companies. Partnering with chambers of commerce and trade associations is a unique, cooperative and collaborative approach funded completely by us. It helps us attract new clients in niches that were previously cost prohibitive to tap into. It helps chambers of commerce and trade associations solve their biggest challenges related to new member acquisition, member retention, and non-dues revenue generation. And it helps members who own businesses solve some of their biggest and most expensive people problems related to employee selection, engagement, and retention. We made a decision to invest the marketing resources we otherwise would have spent on advertising to support the organizations we care about and their members. So it's a win, win, win for everyone involved. In the book, Offer Versus Ask, one of our objectives was to create, fund, and share with chambers of commerce and trade associations who were accepted into our alliance an irresistible value proposition that they could use to grow their membership numbers and generate non-dues revenue. And when someone says it sounds too good to be true, I take it as a compliment. It's like they're saying that maybe we did too good of a job of creating an irresistible value proposition to the point that it moved right on past irresistible and became an unbelievable offer instead. That's why we have an application and a courtship before commitment process in place for our potential alliance members. Informed decisions usually lead to good decisions and decisions based on uninformed opinions usually don't. So step one of the courtship process is an invitation for our prospective alliance members to fill out a quick application and take one of our assessments. That way we can learn more about them and they can learn more about us by literally using some of the tools and judging for themselves how accurate and useful they are. Assuming potential alliance members are adequately impressed, step two is completing the Workforce Alchemy Challenge themselves. We want them to go through the exact same training that their members will have access to with a critical eye. We want them to take the exact same certification test being made, made available to their members based on the training and earn for themselves anywhere from $250 to $1,000 worth of the exact same skill, attitude, and personality-based assessment tools that their members would be able to receive. We also want them to be able to put it all to good use for their own personal development and the betterment of their own teams. Once they've experienced the training, testing, and tools, they'll have all the information they'll need about the entire process and tools involved 
to make an informed decision as it relates to the value being delivered to their organization and their members, as well as our ability to deliver it. That's what courtship looks like. When you feel good about what we do and how we do it, and we feel the same about your organization, then you'll receive our done-for-you marketing templates, including informational email campaigns, web content, social media content, and more. You will also receive our commitment to provide your members with guaranteed access to the Workforce Alchemy Challenge, including the training, testing, and up to $1,000 worth of the skill, attitude, and personality-based assessment tools we provide. After graduating college, I found myself at the U.S. Army Engineer School for Officer Basic Training Course at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and many of the other officers going through the training with me were graduates of West Point. As part of their physical education curriculum, they had to take boxing. They were all taught the basics of boxing. They learned footwork, they learned head movement, they learned how to block punches and throw them effectively. This wasn't just another academic class. They learned to hit, get hit, and keep moving forward. They had knowledgeable and experienced coaches and there was a lot to learn. Some learned and executed the techniques better than others and it was on full display for all to see whenever they had to compete. I remember the West, kind, West Point guys talking about it one day. They kept talking about this one guy he said his footwork is terrible, his head movement, blocking skills, and general defensive skills were a joke. He frustrated the instructors who said that he never listened and wasn't coachable. But he didn't have to be. He was the most feared cadet in his weight class. Why? Well, it was because he was so powerful and could hit so hard that he knocked everyone out. He literally stalked his prey, absorbed punches, and waited for his window of opportunity to deliver the knockout blow, and he did every single time. There were plenty of guys with better skills, more speed, better timing, and better technique. Those guys did what the coaches told them to do. It was futile, and none of it mattered against this guy. He didn't try to be like everyone else. He doubled down on what made him special and didn't worry at all about the skills that he didn't have. What does this have to do with you increasing and preserving your membership numbers? Maybe everything. You are competing for the time, attention, and financial resources of your members, not only with other associations, but also your members' friends, family members, and business connections who also want those things from them. Frankly, you might be outmatched. The odds might be against you, and that's okay. It won't matter if you can discover your special knockout punch. The knockout punch is an irresistible value proposition. When you offer something unique and remarkable, people can't help but to tell others. Word of mouth spreads for you, so you're in a position to attract rather than pursue new members. Consider this. Have you ever heard the term purple cow? Yes, I said purple cow. It's a term coined by Seth Godin, who wrote a book with the very same title. In his book, Godin described how he once found himself in a rural area in another part of the world. And as he was traveling, he noticed a brown cow by itself in a field. He described how it caught his attention as it grazed. The sun was reflecting off the dew in the grass, making it look like diamonds in the sunlight. But after a short time traveling the countryside, he'd seen so many brown cows that he no longer found a brown cow interesting and thought they all looked the same. In fact, he said brown cows were boring. Now, can you imagine what would happen if you drove just outside of town and saw a purple cow grazing by the side of the road? Something you've never seen before? A totally unique and remarkable creature? If that happened, there would be a line of cars parked to look at it, take pictures of it, shoot video. It'd be all over social media and TV and helicopters be hovering overhead in no time flat. Let's face it, as Godin says, the business world is full of brown cows. Brown cows are boring products and services we can get anywhere. And it takes a ton of time and lots of money to convince even one person, much less a bunch of them, that one brown cow is any better than another brown cow. What chambers of commerce, what chambers of commerce or trade associations have that much time or money necessary to convince all their past, present, or future members that they're different? Who has that much? Now, on the other hand, a purple cow is a unique and remarkable business or way of doing business that is so extraordinary that it's worth talking about, promoting, and sharing with anyone and everyone willing to listen. It's in a class by itself and is so phenomenal and exciting that people can't help but to talk about it. And the story of its mere existence travels everywhere without effort or expense. It's safe to say that most people look at chambers of commerce and trade associations like brown cows but it doesn't have to be that way for your organization after today. Is there a way to transform, transform your organization into a purple cow? We think so, and we think doing so should be a huge part of your growth strategy. A remarkable offer to past, present, or future members has the power to turn your organization into a purple cow and help you attract rather than pursue more members. 
It can also help you generate non-dues revenue without interfering with everything else that you have going on. More than 30 years ago, when I was a brand new second lieutenant in the Missouri Army National Guard, I had a conversation with Colonel Calvin Broughton. It was about the four ways of getting things accomplished. Colonel Broughton pulled me into his office and he grabbed a paper and a pen. He then drew a matrix consisting of two columns and two rows by drawing one big square with a line going right through the middle from top to bottom and another going through the middle from left to right to create four smaller squares. Colonel Broughton told me that there was a wrong way to do things and a right way to do things. Then he labeled the first column wrong and the second column right. After that, he told me that there were hard ways to do things and easy ways to do things. Then he labeled the top row easy and the bottom row hard. The colonel pointed out or pointed the, at the box where the row he labeled as hard intersected with the column he labeled as wrong and told me to avoid spending all my time there at all costs because there's usually tons of work there and in the end, it's not gonna pay off. He also pointed the box labeled easy and wrong. Now, there's an upside to failing fast, even though it still means failing. Then he pointed at the box labeled hard and right. That's a tough way to lead because it's resource intensive and it wears out your soldiers, even if you accomplish your mission, he said. Finally, Colonel Broughton pointed to the box where the row he labeled as easy intersected with the column he labeled as right. I smiled because I knew that that's where the Colonel wanted me to spend my time. As you explore the concepts in our book, Offer versus Ask, You'll soon realize that the offer, when done correctly, is the easy and right way to make rapid progress towards your goals. You're also likely to discover that the ask, when done correctly, is the hard and right way to make progress towards your goals. They both work. One is just harder and takes longer than the other. But they are not mutually exclusive approaches. Ideally, you can and should use both. If you owned or managed a business, imagine what it would be worth if you could get something like a Carfax on job applicants. What if you could find out if applicants were honest, reliable, and had a work ethic before you hired them? What if you could find out if they had valuable job skills that they would need to use every day before you spent the time and money training them? What if you could find out if their personality matched the job, the supervisor, and teammates in the job that you were considering them for so you could avoid all the problems that come up when they don't? You know the type. The people businesses hire either solve business problems or they create more of them. Applicants embellish job applications and line resumes all the time. They tell tall tales during interviews too, and rarely give out the names of references who will say bad things or verify anything beyond employment dates. Plus, the government restricts the questions business owners and managers can ask, so the deck is really stacked against them, and it's not their fault. The hiring suite pre-employment online testing system is a secret weapon businesses can use to level the playing field. It can help them cut labor costs and get better work accomplished faster using fewer people. This system is the next best thing to giving businesses car faxes for job applicants and the necessary training on how to use them effectively. People still take chances on used cars without buying a car fax, and many of those same people regret it. The ones who do use car faxes at least know what they're getting and make informed choices, just like we want our clients to do when it comes to hiring. That's why we're willing to give businesses access to our proprietary internet video-based training on the strategies, tactics, and tools they'll need to get the right people in the right seats the first time and keep them longer. The training is full of street smart secrets and best practices condensed into roughly 94 minutes. Getting access to expert management training, $1,000 worth of tools businesses can use right away, and discounts on future purchases makes joining and renewing membership in the organizations in our alliance a no-brainer. Tools and training like this are likely to save even the smallest companies tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars or more down the road, and years of hard work too. If your previous members aren't returning your phone calls, they're ignoring your emails, and they aren't responding to your mailers, it typically means they aren't interested in joining or renewing their memberships. It's their way of saying that your value proposition is something they do understand and is no longer enough. But when you replace the old, worn out and predictable ask approach with a completely different, higher value, irresistible offer instead, you can totally reverse that awkward dynamic, repair and rebuild relationships with past members using a win-win approach instead. The offer versus ask strategies, tactics, and funding necessary to execute them all are available and detailed in my book, Offer versus Ask, the nonprofit executive secret playbook for growth and sustainability. 
and digital copies are available for free when you click on the nonprofit and association partners page at workforcealchemy.com. You're also invited to apply for acceptance into our nonprofit alliance in order to tap into all kinds of additional financial resources and support mechanisms that can be made available to your organization at no charge.